This is Dr. Erica from Rosie Research, and today I am going to show you that you can do this pH indicator lab with a variety of things. So I have my purple cabbage juice here, and last night we happened to eat some beets, so I have some beet juice here. And these are both um, pH indicators that are natural and edible. And we're just gonna take a look at the different colors we get from these different fruits and vegetables. So what we have is the juices, I've got some tester cups. I'm going to measure the same amount of each chemical into it so that we know that it's not adding too much of one chemical, which is what's making it change the color differently. And so I also have a little dropper for when I do vinegar and I've got drain cleaner here. So let's get started. Baking soda, vinegar, drain cleaner, and citric acid. And I just have a pencil right here. I'm just gonna stir some of these up. Make sure they're all stirred in nicely. Alrighty. And so I'm gonna take a picture from above for you guys and you can see that the different colors of what we get. And what we'll notice is that the Beet juice does use as a pH indicator, except for the fact that it really only indicates really strong bases. So I've got kind of three reds and one yellow for the drain cleaner that was basic. And on the other hand, the purple cabbage juice, I've got blue, I've got purplish, I've got green, and I've got pink. So I have a lot more colors. And you can ask your kids what you think about in terms of those different colors. What do they mean and how can they help you tell the pH? One of the biggest reasons why all of these labs use purple cabbage is because it goes through so many more transitions. And as we go through these transitions, then we can accurately mark that this is a low pH value and it's probably a one or two, three, four, five, six. They're all different colors. Whereas for our beet juice, it looks almost like one through nine or 10 is about the same color. So if you're testing something acidic, it wouldn't be very useful. I'll also post up an image of what some natural pH indicators, the colors they go through, so you guys can print those out and look at them. And next time you're at the supermarket, maybe you'll check them out. 